okay, my camera died. But I'm going to say this when it comes to the companies. I'm not on here to do reviews on products that I know in my heart of heart or I feel is not good. Now, it's not a thing for me to go out and buy a product. I go buy the product, tell you how it is, this, that, and the other. But don't send me uh, something in my inbox asking me to review your product and you know your product is not worth the money. I cannot do that. I can't. That's not the purpose of my channel. When I do videos, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look out for everybody because I know that feeling. I bought things in the past, two years and years ago. It wasn't even worth the money. And I lost out on this money that I really didn't have, first of all, to buy it. And then you're going to tell me you won't take it back or you won't honor the warranty on it? We're going to make these companies change. I'm going to teach you how to beat them at their own game. Do you understand? I want you to become self-sufficient when it comes to doing multiple things. It's good we have people on here doing hair, doing makeup. I can do it all. I can do it. I made this wig I have on. My makeup. I can do makeup. I can pretty much do it all except for work on a get on the car. If I was not claustrophobic, I would get on the car to change my own oval. Because I've always wanted... I've always wanted to be that person to know um, just just different things, how to do different things, to save money. It's all about saving money, people. Now, the only thing I have not mastered, and I need somebody to show me, if you, like I said, I don't know everything. When I put videos on YouTube, if I put a video up and you feel like it's too long, or you know what, I don't want to do it, I ain't making that hell. I don't want to make it your way. Okay, leave your recipe down below. Somebody else may want to try your recipe. It doesn't hurt. I think when people leave comments, it's not the comments that you may, you may leave, but it's the approach and how you leave that comment. Now, if you, you're doing with malice in your heart, it's not coming from your heart. It's coming from another place, okay? Because sometimes we do need to hear the reality of, well, you didn't do that right, or it don't look right. It, it didn't look right the way that you did it. I just had somebody leave a comment about my milkshake. She going on and on about these products or this company, whatever. I'm not trying to advertise for no company. I'm not getting paid for it. I'm not getting paid for it. My reward and satisfaction comes from knowing that you have got a good deal for your money. I see people standing in line all the time. They get up to the counter, spend their money. The sale clerk ain't, ain't talking about a sale. Ain't, ain't told them that, yeah, I got a coupon right here. I'm going to let you use this coupon. But when the shoe is on the other foot, you're looking for the same deal. So that's why I said we have to look out for each other. And when it comes to the comments, I don't mind people leaving comments. You can leave the positive. Hell, you can leave the negative. Hell, it all rolls off like water. I'm like, oh, all this water it just rolls off. I've been through too much in my life to allow comments to, to hinder me from doing what I'm supposed to be doing, people. Now, like I said, sometimes we need to hear it. It's the truth. It may be the truth, but it's your approach and how you delivering that message to that person. Now, if you're doing it with love in your heart for that person and you're looking out for them, maybe you need to not leave it down in the comment section, but go ahead and inbox them and just say, you know what, girl, I seen such and such and I just feel like, you know, you do that right. And sometimes the person on the outside looking in can see something that, uh, notice something or see something that you didn't even notice. So I don't have a problem with that. And on this channel, I want you to share. I want you to share recipes, your thoughts, your ideas, because you may be in a state where somebody lives in your state, and they need to know, well, I don't live in Georgia, so what do I do? What do I mean, how do I go about uh, paying a bill? You may know a program that can help somebody pay a bill. Help them. Leave it down below. Another lady, I'm telling you, this lady had left a comment about my chitlin, my chitlin cleaning technique. And she was telling me, she said, no, because I learned from the very best. These were some 90-year-old ladies, and they showed me how to do this, that, and the other. It made me smile. It made me laugh because I can just recall that we both share memories of our grandparents or elderly people teaching us how to do things. Although they may have not done it the same way, but we were still taught by our elders. We don't have that anymore. So we have to get back to the basis of that, just teaching these young people what we do know. Because a lot of them were not 
brought up by their grandmothers or great grandparents. Sometimes I get on here, I'll be all over the place. Sometimes I get on here, I'll be all over the place. Sometimes I do videos that are really long, especially when, when I'm trying to teach you or show you what I know when, when it comes to making a wig or doing hair. I'm going to be very detailed because for that person that it may take a little bit longer to catch on, I want them to get it. I don't want them to feel intimidated as if, okay, well, Sally Sue just caught on, but I wish she had been a little bit more detailed so I could have caught on so, now, so I can get it. So... I don't think I, I, I don't want anybody to feel like, I, I don't think I want to do this. I, I ain't doing this because, I mean, she didn't give enough details about it. If you're that person and you can catch on faster, just re just fast forward. Just go to the section that you need. But we got to look out for everybody. I don't know how to do voiceovers because you know I'm still not editing my videos. I don't know how to do that. And then I thought about, okay, so what if you have a, a hearing impaired person or a person... Um, you have a person who can't read the words, people. So what about them? They want to enjoy YouTube and, and learn different things just like anybody else want to learn it. So what about them? We have to look out for everybody. If you come across a deal and it's under this page or whatever, leave it. I don't care. Leave it. I want you to leave it. You got to help out too. Hell, I can't do it all now because I don't know it all. And if I don't know it, y'all know I'm going to tell you uh, I don't know. Somebody asked me about doing some calculon twists. No, some twists or something. I've never done that before because my daughter, she's a plain Jane kind of girl. She wants the same thing all the time. And I don't do other people's hair because I'm heavy-handed. Hell, sometimes heavy-handed and arthritis in my hand now from doing hair for so long. Sometimes when I'm braiding my own hair, hell, I got to prop against the wall just to get that braid going. Because I'm natural now. I'm, I will be natural. It will be one year in November. Hell, I can't hold my damn hand up too long. I've had all kinds of situations arise. Who would have ever thought? I got on here. I did a video about doing a giveaway. Now I understand here why a lot of y'all give away crayons and damn lipstick and one eyeshadow that came from the dollar store. I understand. Because when it's time to ship this stuff, hell, it's not cheap. It is not cheap. And all the items that I had was big items. I'm going to still get to it, so don't, don't be talking about me. I still have love in my heart. And it's sitting over here to the corner. I don't know if you can see it. It's sitting over here in my corner. I'm still going to give it away, but you know I had this procedure done in June. June 3rd, I had my uh, uterine fibroid embolization procedure done. Best thing ever happened in my life. It's like I'm getting my life back. 15 years, people. Over 15 years of suffering with fibroids. Every female in my immediate family, extended family, have had a hysterectomy or partial hysterectomy. There's nothing wrong with it if you need it. If it's a life-threatening situation, have it done. I ain't knocking you, because if this procedure had not worked, I was going to try it again before I head on over to the hysterectomy. I was. I was going to head on over to do something else. But now I was blessed, and I'm going to tell that full story of this. But I didn't have the money. To, I, you think I got medical insurance? <sighs> no. Could I afford this procedure I just had done? No. We're going to talk about that later. And that's another thing. People be looking at your circumstance. I had this young lady um, left a comment down, Virgo somebody. I don't know what her name is. Which was fine. She asked a question. She said, I, I, wish I, could, I wish I knew a little bit more about your story. Why you don't have a man? What do you do for work this day together? So I told them, blessed and highly favored. That's how I can tell you, really. I am blessed, people. By the grace of God, I'm doing what I do. You have to learn how to think outside the box. Even if you are working a 9 to 5 job, when you get home, don't use all your time on YouTube. Find other ways of making money as a resource to, to have in your household. Extra income. I may not have 9 to 5, but I'm, I'm taking care of my household and I do other things. I sign up for reward programs. It may be $10 here, $10 there. There, but when you add it all up, hell, you got hundreds of dollars. Hundreds of dollars. I want to teach you guys how to do surveys. Do you think, a lot of people think surveys don't work. It works. Got a video coming up with that. 
And that's another thing. I just, out of my household, we have, let's see, Coley, Deja, me, four laptops in the house. My son has the top of the line, Apple Max, the biggest screen they have. And then we got a desktop and the iPad, what, they got the iPads, whatever it is. I, didn't, I don't have that. I have a Samsung tablet. But do you know out of all these damn devices in my house, all of them are just about, my tablet or in, I think one of the twins' tablets were. They didn't crack hers. It's just in millions and millions of pieces. So I don't even know how I'm editing my videos to get them on now. This one is going to be one of those put up and go type videos. I can't edit it. I think I'm going to try to come through YouTube because what's going on with my laptop, for some reason, I think it's a virus on it because it'll crash and reboot back up. So I, 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 can't, I can't put any kind of software on it. So it is what it is. So like I said, don't look at my circumstances or my situation and say, well, shit, I want the same thing she can have because, huh? You kept it with your wish for, okay? I remember growing up here wishing for other people's lives and, oh, you know how you would see those celebrities on TV and you'd be like, oh, her skin's so damn pretty. Oh, I wish I had that. Been there, done that. Had it. Skin got to breaking out, acting.